లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఉన్నటువంటి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ బటన్ను క్లిక్ చేయడం ద్వారా మరియు పక్కనే వచ్చినటువంటి గంట సింబల్ని ప్రెస్ చేయడం ద్వారా మీరు మన ఛానల్లో పెట్టినటువంటి మంచి సైన్స్ వీడియోస్ని మీ మొబైల్ నోటిఫికేషన్ ద్వారా చూడడానికి అవకాశం ఉంటుంది థ్యాంక్ యూ ప్లీజ్ వెల్కమ్ టు టెక్నో సైన్స్ క్లబ్ టుడేస్ అవర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ టాపిక్ ఇన్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ లెసన్ కెమికల్ బాండింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ కెమికల్ బాండింగ్ we do two classes we taken two classes and we do two videos in previous if you not seen that videos i am leaving a link in description box and also leaving in cards please see that videos and after that uh, you learn about a chemical bonding in detail in this class we learn about a chemical bonding and the types of chemical bonding in these types of chemical bonding ionic bond what is meant by ionic bond and how the ionic bond is formed in detail with an example let's go into the topic welcome back friends chemical bonding we learn in a previous classes the chemical bonding what is the need of chemical bonding what is the need of uh, elements to form chemical bonding what is the need of formation of bonding because the elements to get a noble gas configuration stable configuration the elements are tried to get noble gas configuration or a stable configuration electronic configuration they lost some electrons and gain some electrons and forms bonding between each other that bondings are called chemical bonding we learned this uh, in previous chapters previous classes in chemical bonding there is a two types of chemical bondings are there the one is ionic bond and the second one is a covalent bond in this class we learn about a ionic bond in detail uh, with an example how the ionic bond is formed with the example also let's go ionic bond formed between the atoms of a uh, two dissimilar elements due to the transfer of electrons from atom of uh, one element to another let's uh, learn in detail ionic bond is formed between the atoms of a uh, dissimilar elements the elements the atoms of uh, the elements are dissimilar two dissimilar elements not same elements two two dissimilar elements are there in these two dissimilar elements what happens there is a transfer of electrons between the atoms one atom to another atom uh, what is the reason for the transfer of atoms uh, also we learn in previous classes because uh, to get stable ionic configuration like uh, noble gases in noble gases you know about noble gases noble gases are stable in periodic table in periodic table we learn about noble gases noble gases are uh, having eight electrons in the valence shell outermost shell is called valence shell so noble gas having eight electrons in the valence shell so they are stable and they are not participating in any chemical reaction so they are chemically inert so as the noble gases all elements are try to get stable electronic configuration and uh, to stay electro- chemically inert to get that noble gas a stable electronic configuration they form bonds by transfer of electrons by giving of electrons or uh, by taking of electrons they form noble gas electronic configuration stable electronic configuration and uh, get stable so because of this the atoms of different uh, atom different elements dissimilar elements the atoms in these atoms there is a transfer of electrons are there by these transfer of electrons they form some ions let's learn in detail for example uh, in the periodic table we have uh, metals uh, highly reactive metals are there in first year group left side of uh, periodic table left side of periodic table we have highly reactive metals uh, like 1a 2a 
these highly reactive metals having one or uh, two electrons in the valence is your one electron or two electrons or three electrons are there in the in its uh, outermost shell or a uh, valence shell by losing by losing one electron or two electrons or three electrons in their outermost shell they get a electronic stable electronic configuration that is octa electronic configuration eight electrons in the valence shell they have uh, extra electrons are there extra one electron or extra two electrons are there in the metals in their uh, valence shell so they have to lose uh, one electron or two electrons to get a stable electronic configuration by losing for example take the, the take some example they lose electrons and forms positively charged particles called ions the metals highly reactive metals uh, these are called highly reactive because they try to lose one electron and uh, form positively charged particles called ions positive ions these positive ions are called cations so metals are losing some electrons one or two electrons from their valence shell and form positively charged ions called cations example sodium sodium has the electronic configuration 281 the valence shell in the valence shell sodium has a one electron it has one electron extra if uh, it has a two and eight it is a stable electronic configuration like a uh, neon neon has the neon has a stable electronic configuration two comma eight so eight electrons in their outermost shell if there are uh, if there is a uh, eight electrons that uh, particle are stable so sodium if sodium loss one electron from it its outermost shell it gets a electronic configuration of 2 8 it gets electronic configuration of 2 8 and it's get maybe stable so that purpose sodium loss one electron and form positively charged ions called cations na plus ion and another example is also magnesium magnesium has an electronic configuration of 282 that means uh, magnesium has uh, two electrons in their outermost shell or valence shell if it lost that two electrons and it forms 28 stable electronic configuration so the magnesium losses the two electrons or two extra electrons in their outermost shell and forms a uh, mg plus 2 positively charged cation so in this type sodium magnesium aluminium these types of metals highly reactive metals they are said to be highly reactive metals because they lose electrons and forms cations they are ready to lose electrons and uh, uh, to form cations and uh, participate in the chemical bonding so they are called uh, highly reactive metals so metals are lost some electrons and form positively charged ions called cations so after that in a right side of the periodic table we have highly reactive non metals like halogens highly reactive non metals like halogens halogens means a chlorine bromine iodine astatine etc etc these are the halogens chlorine group or halogens means fluorines fluorine chlorine etc etc so these uh, halogens are having five six seven electrons in their valence shell so any element having eight electrons in their outermost shell gets a stability but uh, these uh, halogens having five electrons some halogen having five electrons some halogen having six electrons and some halogen having seven electrons in their outermost shell so that halogens to be stable it will be if uh, some halogens having seven electrons in their outermost shell it has to be gain one electron and uh, eight electrons if eight electrons comes they get to be stable so for this these halogens gains some electrons and uh, get stable electronic configuration and get maybe stable so because by this so they gain two or three or one electrons three or two or one electrons from the other atoms 
and uh, form negatively charged particles called negatively charged ions that are called anions so non metals highly reactive non metals uh, gains uh, some electrons one or two or three electrons to get may be stable they gains uh, some electrons and uh, form a uh, negatively charged ions called anions example chlorine chlorine has an electronic configuration of 2 8 7 if uh, chlorine has a uh, one electron they get to be stable so chlorine gains one electron from the other atoms and form stable electronic configuration get the stability so in sulfur also in sulfur also sulfur has an electronic configuration of 2 8 6 if two electrons are there it may be stable so sulfur gains two electrons and form 2 8 8 and form sa 2 plus cl 2 minus this type of uh, negatively charged anions are formed cl minus s2 minus p phosphorus 3 minus in phosphorus also it has an electronic configuration of 2 8 5 it uh, will be have three electrons if uh, phosphorus having extra three electrons it will be stable so these extra three electrons are gained from the other atoms three electrons are gained and form a uh, three p3 minus uh, anion and form electronic on uh, form stable atom so to form stable atoms chlorine gain one electron sulfur gain two electrons and phosphorus gain three electrons and form a cl minus a s2 minus and a p3 minus anions to get stability these anions and cations are mixed together and there is an attraction you know that uh, there is an attraction between the anions uh, positively charged cations and negatively charged anions by this attraction they get attracted and form together and form a chemical bonding called uh, ionic bond let's uh, see the definition of that uh, ionic bond let's see the definition of ionic bond chemical bonding the bond between the charged particles have a called uh, ions that are cation and anions the bond between the two charged particles are two charged ions cations and anions is called ionic bond the definition of ionic bond bond in detail bond between the two charged particles or charged ions that are anion and cation is called ionic bond in detail the electrostatic attraction force that keeps anion and cation together to form a newly electrically neutral compound is called ionic bond ionic bond is a electrostatic attraction between the two ions positively charged ion and uh, negatively charged ion that are anion and cation there is a electrostatic attraction force between the cation and the anion because cation is a uh, positively charged and anion is a uh, negatively charged so between the positive charge and negative charge there is an electrostatic force attra electrostatic attraction force these are uh, because of this electrostatic attraction force between the anion and cation they form electrically neutral compounds that bonding is called ionic bond for example nacl sodium chloride is the example normal uh, salt sodium chloride sodium chloride in sodium chloride there is a sodium and chlorine atoms are there sodium atom having a electronic configuration of 281 it has a one electron extra electron it is in gaseous state one extra electron and having electronic configuration of neon 3s1 so it loses one electron and forms a na plus a gaseous ion that is a cation na plus cation it has electronic configuration of 28 that uh, similar to the electronic configuration of neon so it get be stable so it are sodium loss one electron and form cation and get stable electronic configuration like neon and in also like that chlorine in gaseous state chlorine also gains one electron and forms a cl minus anion a chlorine has an electronic configuration of 2 comma 8 comma 7 if one electron is there in a extra one electron is there in their outermost shell it get be stable so by this uh, 
one electron is gained by the chlorine atom and get a electronic configuration stable electronic configuration 288 like a argon and get stable electronic configuration and a Cl minus a anion get may be stable. So these are cations and anions Na plus cation and Cl minus anion is a combined together Na plus and Cl minus and form a electrically stable or a electrically neutral compound cause called NaCl sodium chloride. This is the there is a chemical bonding that is ionic bonding the bonding between the two ions cations and anion one cation and one anion this is called ionic bond between the sodium and chlorine and form a compound like electrically neutral compound like a sodium chloride this is a ionic compounds ionic bonding between the sodium and chlorine atoms and forms sodium chloride in today's class we learn about the ionic bond about the chemical bond is two types of chemical bonding in these two types of chemical bonding ionic bond in this class we learn about what is the ionic bond and how the ionic bond is formed between the chlorine atoms and the sodium atoms with example and the definition of the ionic bond how the ionic bond is formed in uh, we learn in this class if you like this video please like and share in the share to your friends in the social media and uh, please uh, new members are subscribe please subscribe our channel and press the bell symbol please like share and subscribe thank you thank you for watching jai hind यह वीडियो कच्चे लाइक चेक शेर चेक कामेंटी सब्सक्रैब मर्चिपक थैंक यू थैंक यू फर् वाचिंग जय हिंद